Hello and greetings to all my brothers and sisters in King Yeshua HaMashiach. I hope everyone had a most wonderful day today in our glorious King. I, if you do not know our King Yeshua, the Savior of the world, the one who died for me and for the world and for you, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever, meaning anyone, anyone in this world, you are a creature of His. You are His creation. And God does not want anyone to perish. And King Yeshua waits with his open arms for you to invite him into your heart to to have him dwell with you and walk with you in complete repentance and brokenness and picking up your cross daily and denying your flesh by the power of the Holy Spirit. And when you come to him the first time, he meets you right where you're at. Don't feel like you can clean yourself up and then come to him because you won't be able to clean yourself up. You cannot do anything on your own without God. You cannot. You have no hope without King Yeshua. He is God Almighty. And if you come to Him, He comes to meet you right where you're at. But you must be sincere to Him. And He knows. He will know if you're sincere. And confess your sins to our King and He is faithful and just to forgive you and He will cleanse you of all unrighteousness <clears throat> and then you will become born again for you must become born again in order to enter the kingdom of God that's in John and I'm sorry I don't have the address <clears throat> But I will in just a moment. Hold on just a second. And I will have that address for you. This is near the beginning. John chapter 3. And I'm going to read you this verse. Verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So that's what I'm referring to. And please read all of chapter 3 and John. So it'll be John 3, 3. I'm sorry. John chapter 3. And um, please just go to our king. He awaits you. He awaits for all his lost sheep. He truly does. He loves you. He loves you who thinks you cannot be loved. He loves you who has had a hard, hard life. He loves you. You may have had an easy life. He loves you. He loves everyone. Come to him if you don't know him. And he will make your life so much better. He is our blessed hope. Because without him, you have no hope. And he is God Almighty. He is a glorious son of the Father. And <clears throat> he is the way, the life, and the truth. And there is 
no other way to the Father except by Him. No other way, no other religion, no other path, no other faults, God's faults, idols. King Yeshua, Lord Jesus Christ, is the only way to the Father. And God's word is the truth. It is flawless. It is inerrant. It is 100% true. And you must have the faith to know that. Because without faith, you cannot please God. And you must have faith in order to believe in King Yeshua. <clears throat> In uh, Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 10, it says, God Almighty tells you himself how to be saved. And it says that you must confess King Yeshua, Lord Jesus Christ, with your mouth. And you must believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, and thou shalt be saved. And then you will have such a marvelous and wonderful life with your king so wonderful I can't describe how beautiful it is to walk with my king every moment I know he's with me <clears throat> and he will never leave you he will never forsake you and he gives you his peace, the peace that no one can describe, because no one can describe God. No one can describe his works. No one can describe his presence. No one can describe his beauty, his mightiness, his power. No one can come close to describing God. Amen and hallelujah to our marvelous God. Let's give him praise. Let's lift up our holy hands and give our mighty God Jehovah praise. Our holy God, Jehovah the one and only true God and your perfect Holy Spirit and your perfect Holy Son, King Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ. I bow down to you, my Holy Papa. I bow down to you in complete subjection and humbleness and contriteness of heart. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. And I love thee and I trust thee with everything in me. I love you so much. Thank you, Father, for sending your precious Son, King Yeshua, to die for this world, to die for me. Thank you for your most precious gift, because that was your baby on the cross, your baby, your son. He was your baby on the cross. He still is your baby. I love you so much. And I can't imagine what you went through. As your son was dying. For the world's sins. <clears throat> I 
I just can't imagine Papa. I love your heart. And you were all about man's heart. You want their heart to love you with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. And I love you so much. I love you with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength. And every cell within me, all of my being, <laughs> loves you, my holy Papa Yahweh. All of my being loves you, my beautiful Holy Spirit. All of my being loves you, my beautiful King, Yeshua HaMashiach. Man does not deserve you. We deserve nothing. But you love us. And your only begotten son died for us willingly. Thank you. Thank you, my glorious God. For saving me from the depths of hell. For saving all of your saints. I pray, Father. I, I pray that not many people will take that horrible mark of the beast. <clears throat> I pray that not many people will be left behind. I pray for the peace of Jerusalem and Israel. <coughs> Excuse me. For you to protect them and to bless them, Father, your holy first covenant people, the apple of your eye. Please have mercy upon your land, your garden of Eden. Please have mercy upon this whole land, Father. May your perfect will be done on earth as it is in heaven. May your perfect will be done in my life. And may my life be a glory to you. And may I glorify your name in this ministry, your ministry, Papa. I have nothing to do with it. But I thank you for allowing me to participate in it. I love you so much. Thank you for your directing, your leading, your guiding. Your wonders, your miracles. I see them every day in my life. Thank you so much for the life you have given me and your perfect son. I love you so much. <coughs> and King Yeshua is holy, perfect, mighty, conquering name. Amen. And amen. All right, I'm going to read some Psalms. I'm going to read what we all know, Psalm 23. I'm going to read Psalm 23, and right after it, Psalm 24. If I can find it, I keep skipping over the page. Okay. And I probably know this by heart, but 
it seems like whenever I'm on the video, I, I lose my memory. So I'm reading this. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Whenever I need to be comforted, verse 4, for thou art with me, I will fear no evil. I say that over and over and over and over again. And oh, how it comforts me. In Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Selah. Oh, I love that. I love saying the King of glory. That is our King, the Holy One of Israel the Holy of Holies, God Almighty. And he will come and sit on his throne of glory and grace, righteousness and truth in the city of Jerusalem, the city of God. And I want to remind everyone to put on their whole armor of God Ephesians chapter 6 verses 11 to 17 and 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 4 and 5 to capture your thoughts and to cast down imaginations to use King Yeshua's mighty name against the evil spirits that might be afflicting you To use King Yeshua's mighty and conquering blood. Apply it to yourself. Apply it to your family members. Apply it to your friends. Apply it to everything that you own. Because his blood stops the enemy and renders him powerless. And get into God's word every day. That is how God feeds you with his strong meat. You start out with the milk and then you travel on to strong meat. After he teaches you for a while, he leads you and he teaches you through his word. 
and the Holy Spirit will lead you to all of his truths and ways. Always ask for the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you as you read his word. Otherwise, you, you just you, you can't understand it. You can't understand what God's trying to tell you. And his spirit knows our hearts. God knows our hearts. All righty. Now let's go to Father's Word. Please take this word into prayer. Psalm 9710 Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 754 p.m. on 25 March 2016. That was today. Daughter of Zion, write Father's perfect words down that you received in my throne room that will make thy belly bitter washed down with my living water write my daughter Wendy think not how Papa Yahweh is going to save my remnant for this is going to be the most wonderful and amazing time for my saints father says this to you you shall be so caught up in what you are doing for me God Jehovah that you will barely pay any attention to the time my saints you will not be raptured before you work for me. How long will you work for me? You will not know this now. Also know, my blessed saints, that you are going to see the rising of Obama and his ruthless, evil, and detestable acts. However, you will be hidden and protected. Father will not suffer my son's bride to be harmed. This is not what my saints wanted to hear, I know. Know this, my beautiful ones, that I know each and every detail of your lives. I am God Almighty, and there is nothing that can go against me. I am the great I am, who created the evil for my purposes, and my will is going to be done in this earth. No hand shall rise against me, for Father can think them into complete nothingness in less than a blink of an eye. Father knows what my saints are wondering as you read this, and I tell you that even if you are tortured for my son's sake, you shall not be harmed. You must trust Father, for my thoughts and ways are not as man's. You will work until I send my son for you. This is an extremely hard word to hear, but my word says that I will comfort the faint at heart, the ones in troubled waters. And my word is true. It is not what man has thought it would be like. Man will never be able to know my plans completely until they are revealed and experienced. Father loves each and every one of my saints. Do not fear. <coughs> Father God Yahweh, Elohim eternal, bitter and sweet will go hand in hand, has spoken. Okay, now let's do Father's second word. Please take this word into prayer. Psalm 96.6 Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. I received this word from Father God Yahweh at 9.45 p.m. on 25 March 2016. Daughter of mine, you shall write the words that Father gave you with my spoon in my holy throne room while being escorted by my wonderful son, Yeshua. Write them, my daughter Wendy. Can there be bitterness with the sweet? Saints, do not let your heart fail you from what Papa just said in the previous message I gave. I gave my daughter the thought to put as a scripture reference of the three young sons of mine. He refused to worship the detestable image. They were thrown alive into an inferno that killed the ones who were opening the door to it. They were not harmed. 
They didn't have not one singe of hair. Their clothes held not the smell of smoke. They were completely protected. Let Father say this, that even if you are going to die as a martyr, you shall not feel much pain, for I will be right there with you. Some of you are adamantly going to disagree with this message out of your fear. If you belong to my son, you have his peace with you at this very moment. Now, my saints, magnify his presence and his peace one hundredfold. It will even be better than that. Remember the visions that my son gave my daughter. He was right there, taking them before they were killed. My saints, Father tells you that this time coming up is going to be completely incredible for you. You will be going underground, doing my holy and mighty works with my anointing upon each of you, some more than others. All will be done according to Father's plans, my holy saints. Hang on to the hem of my son's garments, and he will never leave his saints, nor forsake them. Father God Yahweh, Elohim, my glory comes through my son's bride, has spoken. And I'm going to leave you with God's blessing. And it's going to be Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 to 27. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Aaron and unto his sons, saying, On this wise ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee, and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee, and give thee peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. And the holy, mighty, perfect, wonderful, and conquering name of King Yeshua HaMashiach, our beloved Savior, Redeemer, our Great Shepherd, Baruch Hashem Adonai, blessed be the name of the Lord, Amen and Shalom.